Math Grade 1 Quarter 1 Week 8 Day 2 Let's learn about Adding numbers with sum up to 20 Matatag Curriculum Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 1, we will discuss about adding numbers with sum up to 20. Day 2 At the end of the lesson, the learner shall be able to Add numbers with sums up to 20 Let's review composing and decomposing numbers 3 and 5 is what number? Just add 3 plus 5 equals 8 The missing number is 8 So 3 and 5 makes 8 Next, 7 is 4 and blank. What is the missing number? 4 plus blank equals 7. So the missing number is 3. 4 plus 3 equals 7. Or 7 is 4 and 3. Next, 9 is 1 and blank. That is, 1 plus blank equals 9. What is the missing number? The missing number is 8. 1 plus 8 equals 9 Or, 9 is 1 and 8 Next, 6 is 3 and blank That is, 3 plus blank equals 6 What is the missing number? The missing number is 3 3 plus 3 equals 6 Or, 6 is 3 and 3 Next, 4 and 6 makes what number? That is, 4 plus 6 equals blank. The answer is 10. 4 plus 6 equals 10. Or, 4 and 6 makes 10. Next, 6 is blank and 8. That is blank plus 8 equals 10. What is the missing number? The missing number is 2. 2 plus 8 equals 10. Or, 6 is 2 and 8. Lesson Purpose or Intention To add numbers with sums up to 20 Lesson Language Practice Sum Addends Add Plus Equals Let's read the problem Sophia had 7 chocolate bars Justin gave her 8 chocolate bars How many chocolate bars does Sophia have now? See this illustration. Sophia had 7 chocolate bars. Justine gave her 8 chocolate bars. How to combine the chocolate bars? Here are the possible solutions. To find the answer, you may combine all the chocolate bars and counting them all together. So 7 plus 8. Counting them all together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we get the answer. Sophia has 15 chocolate bars now. Another solution is by counting up. Sophia has 7 chocolate bars, adding the chocolate bars from Justine. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Sophia has 15 chocolate bars now. Another is by writing the number sentence accompanied by counters or drawings. So 7 and 8. 7 plus 8 equals 15. Sophia has 15 chocolate bars now. Let's study another problem. 
A grade 1 pupil named Joanna answered the problem as illustrated below. First is 7 plus 8. Next is 7 plus 3 plus 5. Next is 10 plus 5. Anna split 8 into 3 and 5. Then, 7 was added to 3 to make 10. So, this is 7 added to 3 to make 10. Then, 10 was added to 5 which gives 15. 10 added to 5 gives 15. So, 7 plus 8 equals 15. Why do you think Anna did that way of solving the problem? Because Anna realized that it's easier to answer if she makes 10 first. Let's study this given idea in a number sentence. 7 plus 8 is split 8 into 3 plus 5. Then add the remaining 7. 7 plus 3 plus 5. Add first two addends. 7 plus 3 equals 10. Then add the remaining addends. 10 plus 5 equals 15. In short, 7 plus 8 equals 15. In the given 3 addends, 3 plus 2 plus 3, only 2 addends may be added at a time. We can add 3 plus 2 equals 5. Then add the remaining 3. 5 plus 3 equals 8. Or, these addends change in different place. This is 3 plus 3 plus 2. Add the two addends first. 3 plus 3 equals 6. Then add the remaining 2. 6 plus 2 equals 8. So both have the same sum. For this activity, make 10 cubes. Then write the sum. Number 1 is done for you. As you can see in number 1, the given is 9 plus 5 and the sum is 14. The first addend is 9. Get 1 cube to 5 to make it 10. And now it is easier to answer. So 10 plus 4 equals 14. Number 2. 8 plus 7 equals blank. In the first set, there were 8 cubes. To make it 10, get 2 from 7. Then add to 8. 9, 10. Now, it is easier to answer. 10 plus 5 equals 15. Next, number 3, 5 plus 8. So, in the first set, there are 5 cubes. To make it 10, get 5 from 8. Then, add to 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, there are 10 cubes. It is now easier to answer. So, 10 plus 3 equals... 13. Number 4. 6 plus 6. In the first set, there are 6 cubes. Get 4 to make it 10. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, it is now easier to answer. 10 plus 2 equals 12. Number 5. 7 plus 5 equals... So, there are 7 cubes in the first set. To make it 10... Get 3 from 5. So 7, 8, 9, 10. Now it is easier to answer. 10 plus 2 equals 12. And for number 6, 9 plus 9. In the first set, there are 9 cubes. To make it 10, add 1. 9, 10. It is now easier to answer. 10 plus 8 equals 18. How do you add two numbers with sums that are more than 10? Here are the expected answers. By using counters. By putting the objects together and counting the objects. By counting up. And by making 10 with the given addends. For this activity, you are going to write the sum. Number 1. 4 plus 3 equals... What is the answer? Correct! The answer is 7. 
Number 2. 8 plus 3 equals? What is the answer? Correct! The answer is 11. Number 3. 6 plus 9 equals? What is the answer? Very good! The answer is 15. Number 4. 5 plus 7 equals? What is the answer? Very good! The answer is 12. Number 5. 2 plus 6 equals? What is the answer? Correct! The answer is 8. Number 6. 6 plus 7 equals? What is the answer? Correct! The answer is 13. Number 7. 3 plus 9 equals? What is the answer? Very good! The answer is 12. Number 8. 7 plus 8 equals? What is the answer? Correct! The answer is 15. Number 9. 7 plus 7 equals? What is the answer? Correct! The answer is 14. And number 10. 8 plus 9 equals? What is the answer? Correct! The answer is 17. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!